We've just moved to the countryside. I'm Jack, this is my family. Jack of all trades, master of none, I love a good project. Hot tubs, pools, cabins and more. Oh, and of course a good barbecue. Our ambitions are big, our budgets, well, not so much. Join us, building it all, one project at a time. Hello, hello. So the sun is out. It's a fine day. I think it's time for another project. So we're going to build ourselves a big fire pit barbecue for doing some whole hogs, maybe some lamb, some big family entertaining and some cooking. So we're going to go and look for some materials. All sorts of crazy stuff. What's been going on here then? And then, yeah, some more prime building materials. So this is what we got. We've got all sorts of useful stuff in here. Just driving back to the house now. We've got some cinder blocks or hollow breeze blocks. We managed to get about 20, I think it's 24 in the back. So just pop it in four wheel drive. Got those in the back of the truck, quite a weight. And we are going to get them laid out and start planning for a barbecue fire pit smoker. Basically I want to cook a whole pig. And I thought it'd be a bit of fun. So let's do it. So we made it back. Got some blocks in the back here. Got a few more in the back of the truck. Let's go and have a look, see what we're doing. Yeah. So that's what we got. Hollow building blocks, breeze blocks. They're about 220 mil. No, 220 mil, 440. Hollow inside. You'll see why we need hollow ones soon but we're going to be building over here the idea is that we can be cooking some whole hogs some pigs loads of chickens bit of a fun social space outside spicy clives the claimed catering table i think you saw that so it's going to go there let's get some blocks arranged and i'll run you through plan there is no plan let's see what happens but yeah let's go so we're just doing a mock-up now it's just using some of the bits we salvaged the other day so that's got to be the lid at the moment you can see We've got a little bit too large, so we can adjust this. Well, we'll do some playing and tweaking in a minute. So I've mocked up the firebox and on the end, kind of thinking having removable piece, which we can control airflow, slide in, slide out. It's all coming together. Just gonna have to cut some more barb. I'll show you what I've done. So as I said earlier, we've got air gap. So this is the metal L profile correct if I'm wrong that basically sits over the top acts as a little bridge so that's where we can chuck our coals in there piece of metal or piece of wood that's going to slide across control the airflow gonna need another section over here obviously that's what would happen if you don't use them so we will measure up between here and here cut two pieces I need to don these things. Give me ears a bit of protection and my eyes. So 
a little jump forward in time now. We've um, got the smoking box done. As you saw in the video earlier, a piece of metal which is going to form the lid, which is going to send all the smoke out back through there. We have to drop that down one level, as you saw earlier. Going to use some bricks, I think, or something similar to basically throw them around the top. We've got these hollow cores. When we build it permanently, it's all tested, we will probably insulate these. I'll have to think about what to do on the bottom of here. Uh, but as you can see, they go all the way down. So I'm thinking some kind of fireproof expanding foam, something similar, basically so we can keep the heat in this for long periods. Just went to go and get some more reclaimed bricks. So they are clay bricks, which are gonna go in there and in there on the floor. I reckon we should get a little fire on the go. We have a little test run. Added more logs, we are touching 200 degrees Celsius. I'm very happy with that. <clears throat> and that is not a lot of logs, it is roaring away. The draw is epic. Let's go and show you what we're looking at down here. Now that is some prime hog roasting material. I am getting hungry. I'm gonna go and see if I've got a chicken. So we had a good run on the barbecue last night. Really impressed with how that performed. But as always, I think we can do better. And plan is, I'm gonna extend those exhaust outlets there so they come further into the middle. So I'm gonna put another block and then another block on top facing so it's gonna come through bring the heat more central into the oven because my worry at the moment was we're getting a massive hot spot up here and then heat obviously rises comes across the top and not a huge amount further down so i think by extending that we can do some temperature tests i've got some thermometers coming today and we'll see how we go so that's the modification just extended the exhaust from the burn pit up here it comes further in so I hope by doing that, we're gonna get more even temperature distribution throughout the oven. We just picked up some new pieces for the chimney and the flue. Just popped down to a fireplace shop and they had some leftover parts. So I had a look through. We got this 90 degree elbow. It's gonna go and be mounted on the side. These are the old hot tub flues, but they're four inch, that's five inch, so we need to find a way of adapting that. So these arrived as well today, these are thermometers. So they're cheap as chips. I do have some dig uh, digital thermometers somewhere. Uh, you can get those with multiple probes on them, which is pretty good. Um, so that might be another job for another day, is actually get some digital probes in there. Do a little panel down here with a readout, that would be awesome. Another idea I had was a switch for a fan, so if we wanted to boost temperatures quickly, we could actually mount potentially a fan on the back here to increase the airflow. So it would almost be like temperature control, so that'd be really cool. So we have a switch up here, turn the fan off, increase the temperatures, have a readout from the thermometers. Oh, that would be epic. Let's see how it goes. So, rain has stopped play, we will come back to this when things settle down. Look at that, ah, this is cool, love it. So the rain has finally stopped, just not 
just do a little update of where we're at and spin you around. So this is it. So we've mounted the 90 degree elbow to the chimney or the flue. We need to block this off still. I'm thinking here we could put another pipe that comes through so we can adjust the airflow and on the end and put a little swivelly cap so we can partially open, partially close. Again, give us some control over temperatures. So that'll be a nice little detail. We've done the extensions in there, so we're gonna have a little test of that. That's just gonna draw the fire a little bit more into the center, hopefully get a bit more even heat throughout the oven. We've temporarily mounted hinge on the back. Thermometers, one, two, three. We've changed the materials on here, try and help with a bit of airflow again, it's temporary. I'm thinking nice bit of steel made up for the handle, hinge it, firebox, put another adjustable grate there so we can open and close, control the airflow. We got a really good draw yesterday. Last night got it up to about 200 degrees Celsius, no effort at all. Need to make another door for this. You may not need it actually, but that will basically be embers and coals from here. They'll get chucked underneath with a shovel. That will help with the more roasting type cooks rather than smoking. But I think a combination of the two are gonna work really well. I'll, when the hinge is done, do a proper uh, hinge door. Maybe some gas struts, if I can find a way of doing that, it would be quite neat. Um, grill, still need to burn that off. It's got the paint on. We just need to make a fire up the top. Shut that in for an hour get all of those nasty bits off and then I think it's time to test it with something so I reckon tonight I will put a temporary grill in there and I think I might test a chicken or two and see how we go but I'm quite pleased with that bit of a monster but hey it's looking good how cold are you Louie? Let's make a fire. Okay. Let's do it. Get Mr. Mackie D's lit. We'll get some kindling on. Here we go. Here we go. Got ourselves a bit of a treat. Got some chicken, got some pork pork shoulder. Temperatures are looking good. So we're around 225 roasting, so we're not going low and slow. We're just going to roast these. Pork shoulder would normally do that much longer than the chicken. What have we got? The alpacas. They're getting hungry. Hello. They smelled a jerk chicken. They smelled a jerk pork. Temperature check, it's raining, the alpacas have come, but we're looking good. Temperatures, spot on, we're about 20 minutes in, smelling good. Let's hope some of that sunshine comes back, look at that, you little ripper. Oh. Steve. So we've got some nice airflow going through here. I think for attempt number one, this is the dream. Are you two up for some epic smoked meat? Yeah, let's go and have a look. Here comes Tim! Would you look at that? Ooh yeah! Delicious! Oh 
Stay, stay. Testing complete. It's time to build this in properly. Sand cement and mortar. Make it a permanent structure and nicely sealed. Let's go. Level one, brickwork complete. Learning as we go. I haven't done this in years. It's not the best job, but it is more than adequate. First level, complete. Level two, complete. Gonna be smoking down spicy clouds. Yeah, boy. Final job now. Get these bricks fixed in place. Bit of sand cement. Lid is done. Temporary handle. It's gonna get hot, so might need to do something a bit more insulated. Matching handle up here. Wood round side is done. Thinking nice little light strip underneath here. Mortar set, air vent, chimney guard. Stole that off the hot tub. I've got other ones somewhere. I think they might be at the yard. So I'll put another one back on there. And a rabbit which the cat got last night which we might as well cook them up because we don't want it going to waste. Nearly there on the old pit smoker. So I'll just show you the worktops. So just stained all of those. I've ordered some black paint. I'm gonna paint the bottom, just burning off the grill now. Just making a little fire, get all that old paint off there, which is working nicely. I'll flip it over in a minute, but Reckon it's time to go to the shops, go and get some chickens, cook some tea. Sun's going down, we've got some chickens on. It's all good. And we got the horse to come to play. Let me see you running, let me see you running, let me see you running. You gonna feed the horse? We got a Louis Biggles and we got a horsey. Yeah. Oh, delicious. Oh, whilst food is cooking, it's spicy clives. Last job on the barbecue, had a bit of a shave, looking a bit smarter, still need a haircut, but hey ho. Last bit on the barbecue is painting it. So another test run last night, working a treat, did a couple of chickens. Perfect stable temperatures, burned for hours, one load of logs. Seen the top of oiled the Rocco hardwood decking bar. Chimney flue is on. Looking quite smart. Got some bar stools around it. Really happy. Let's get this painted up, get it finished. And we'll have to do a, a whole hog sometime soon. So, final summary on the pit build. We have just painted it. We've got the bar stools out. Good. Tested it last night. Again. Really quite impressed. Just did a couple of chickens, did some sausages, did one fire, one burn in here, 
took about 30, 40 minutes to get up to temperature. So in my opinion, not that much different to doing your charcoal in your barbecue. That burned for about two and a half, three hours at cooking temperatures quite easily. A couple of chickens, they vanished in here. You can see tiny amount of space taken up. Um, but all in all, I'm really impressed. Haven't used this feature yet, which the more traditional block builds like this, you just make a big fire over here, you shovel your charcoals in underneath, pig on top. This has been working absolutely incredibly just with this addition on the side. So it's nice to have it there as a bit of a, not a backup, because I can't really see myself needing it, but if I need to boost temperatures pretty quickly, then we have that feature. Costs. The biggest costs were the breeze blocks, about 180 quid. Uh, sand cement, uh, that was about 20, 25 pounds. Uh, screws had those anyway, but I'd say five quid for those. Um, flue elbow, that was 20 quid from the nice guys down at the fireplace store. Uh, had that lying around this, old air rifle target and handle off a wardrobe. Thermometers, uh, pack of two, about five on Amazon. Uh, old stainless steel kitchen worktop or whatever it was, table, uh, that was 60 quid uh, from a guy, Andrew, legend. Um, that was Facebook Marketplace. Uh, decking boards, uh, they were left over from a previous project. But likewise, if you get online, you can easily salvage stuff like that. Bar stores we had anyway. Uh, bricks, kept down the road, legend again. Uh, inside and out on that. And then scrap metal and all the other bits were basically salvaged, so upcycled. So we burned this off, that was salvaged. This, our door strip, I might have said that already. Gonna have to upgrade the cover on here to something a bit thicker, gauge metal, and probably just go straight steel on that because that does flex and warp with those high temperatures. Um, but all in all, call it sub 250 quid. That's pretty awesome in my opinion. I can't wait to get a pig on there. Got my brother and his family coming down. Might need to invite a few more guests, but whole hog is definitely up for doing it exciting times let's get it on sun's going down we've got some chickens on it's all good we're all done we've got the food here we go pork is back in the oven kids are playing football oh yeah and we're hanging out at spicy clives <laughs> 